I think the backstory is that Lacey and I uh, lost our home to wildfire in 2017 in Northern California. And at that point, we really started getting into contribution work. And, um, and it really started with us cooking for homeless folks and people that were unhoused in Santa Rosa, California. And then fast forward to here, um, when this situation came up, we immediately sort of stepped into culinary action. And I think we made around 50 gallons of beef stew and uh, started running it around to all the volunteer fire departments as far into the mountains as we could access. Um, there was a lot of support going to the first responder centers and schools and shelters. And then we found that the pocket was the volunteer fire departments. Uh, that was week one. Um, at the tail end of that, I gave a ride to a few people that were out on the Nolchucky Gorge campground. Um, we've done a lot of events with USA Raft. That's very much our extended family in this area. They supported our business from the beginning. And, um, and so when I saw them, I said, what are you guys doing here? And they said, well, we're, we're still out on the property in Nolchucky Gorge. And I said, so well, I can offer you a ride back as close as I can get in. And I did that. And um, as I was dropping them off at the church, I ran into a gal named Emily Lowe, and um, she said, Rising Vibes Kitchen, um, Brandon, right? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, I need to connect you with my friend who's here with a nonprofit group, um, and they're looking for quality food trucks to service the remote areas. The next day I got a call from uh, World Central Kitchen, and they said we'd love to talk to you about becoming a restaurant partner. So we came to a good agreement. Uh, we were in a good place to make the initial financial investment and ingredients, and we were, we were already doing it anyways. And um, and you know their mission is to you know get food to um, disaster stricken and war stricken zones of the world and um, we wanted to be a part of it. And, um, and they created a great win-win with restaurant partners helping um, carry the financial end of it. And we get to get out and serve the direct community that's affected. Yeah. I started delivering with the kiddos in the van before we teamed up with WCK and I was driving around to Asheville yeah. um, and the surrounding Asheville areas. And it was, it was very in alignment because about one week into that WCK reached out to Brandon and that's when we were able to start uh, really servicing the East Tennessee area um, and making sure that Western North Carolina was getting coverage um, because there's such a great need there. You know, it was really cool to see how World Single Kitchen really came together to alleviate a lot of the state line issue in this region because there's hundreds of roads here where you don't even know you're crossing into a new state. It's one community. And, um, and so they said, we know you've been wanting to get into Western North Carolina, we've got a place for you. So we've been in Poplar, uh, which is just east of Irwin and in a mountainous area between Poplar and Pigeon Roost. And we've been servicing, um, you know, 250 to 400 meals a day out there uh, to everybody from um, houseless people to linemen uh, to first responders, um, volunteers, anybody that's been affected by this in the drug community gets to come and eat, um, eat for free and nourish themselves and their families. And I feel like WCK has done a really great job of, we know so many people in the community that um, know of more people who are in need and so they've done a really great job of connecting with other people to make sure that everybody's getting reached um, in the very remote parlors and small you know, nooks and areas where, um, where there's a very a great need. I think the biggest um, compliment I've heard and, and gratitude is around, like I said, a warm meal. Like I went to a school and they were shouting hot food yes hot food and it was cool there was all the there were kids and people were so they were just so grateful to have a warm meal um 
we, I did one run out to West Jefferson, North Carolina, and they had pulled, I think they said 200 kids from surrounding areas that hadn't had a meal in two weeks, a hot meal in two weeks. Um, they brought them into the church, and so we took the food there and delivered it to the church and fed 200 children who hadn't had a warm meal in two weeks. So um, it's really, it's really far reaching. And I think that one thing that we're finding as we, especially with our team, because we know so many people, again, that know more people, is there's people that haven't been reached yet. And so we're not done, you know, it's like we get to keep going, we get to kind of keep uh, making our way further in to these places that haven't been reached yet. Um, we'll continue to serve those who we have been serving, who are in gratitude um, and who are worthy of being fed a hot meal.